Today I want to show you uh, uh, Gastro themes. So in my previous tutorial, I did a video on how to get started with Astro. We built out a very basic blog, but um, Astro offers something really cool. It's similar to WordPress themes where you can quickly install a nice theme for your website. So you don't have to spend time building up your own. So this is the themes, themes page on Astro, astro.build slash themes. There's a lot of themes here. You can pay for some of them. They are premiums and then you can get them for free for most of these. So today I'm looking for a blog theme so I can upload it to my GitHub pages, which I'll show you in the next video. So if you click on blog and then click on filter, you'll see a bunch of blog themes. Let's see, uh, let's see, let me refresh that. Let me go to blog and then filter. So these are all blog based themes. If you click into any of them, let's say this one, you can click on live demo to see how it looks like. And this one looks pretty awesome. It has a bunch of blogs, uh, external link, internal link. So it even had log, uh, embedding and you know markdown and code embed, so really cool. Uh, it also has a dark mode. So I'm digging this blog. I'm going to use it for my personal blog. So let's go back to here. If you click on live demo, Sorry, if you click on get started, this usually links to their GitHub page. So this person created Blockster and we're gonna use it. And if you scroll down, there's usually instruction on how to install it. So let's copy this command here. Let's see what happens if I want to install this. It seems like um, if I'm thinking correctly, this will install the theme to my Astro folder. I think it will also create a whole new Astro project with this theme built in. So I want to create a blog, what directory should be blog generating to? Uh, let's see Astro blog. Okay, cool. So it creates the Astro blog and then it's using YARM to install the rest of the dependencies. So we'll give it, going to give it a few minutes and then while it installs. So here's the other thing, this website, uh, a lot of these themes are all hosted on GitHub. So you can, it's all open source. You can see what it looks like, you know, what kind of, you know, themes. It has different sub themes too. So this is really cool. It really reminds me of WordPress. And my experience so far with Astro is that it's taking like the best of all the different frameworks from different languages and put them together in a really nice developer package. And I really appreciate that. So there's not, not only blogs, but there's also landing pages. If you want, uh, you can use it to, you know, build out your projects. Um, so this is like really cool, all built in. It looks really professional and everything. Cool. Okay. So if you want to buy, you can actually buy them. So I guess this is hosted on WD templates. It's only 40 bucks. So I like that model, business model from Astro. That's how you make money. Cool, okay, so it looks like it's done. So let's go into CD Astro blog. It says Yon Dev, but let me, let me run NPM run dev, see what happens. I think this sets up the blog and then, yeah. So it has all the Astro things in there and then looks like the, it's done. So if we go to localhost 3000, we should get our blog right away. It's that simple, there it is. This is our blog running, isn't it cool? So we have like everything all done. You even have the uh, the code ready. So yeah, if you look at the directory structure, it's all, uh, you got you know, different components, layouts, library, markdown, and then pages. So this is where you add your blog. You can add this, uh, the slug that Astro, this will give you the, uh, the blog templates. And if you want the, um, the styles, you got global styles. So I'm kind of wondering where the pages are. Oh, it looks like there's a contents folder. So let's see if this reference the contents folder anywhere. Yeah, so it's using the read one function. It looks like this read one function will read. Oh, I guess it's an extension from this mark doc extension. And this one will grab one content from that folder 
Yeah, read it from the blog directly. Start. Okay, so it, I guess the content folder is where you host your blog. So this one, let's say the extended markdown style guide. So there should be a MD file for that extended markdown style guide. And this is where you write your blog. Very simple, very clean. And I love the organization. And yeah, so far I'm super happy about that. Tune into the next video as I try to upload this to my GitHub pages. See you in the next video.